I chose 95 because that's the street I was uh, raised on. My grandpa came from Mexico, migrated to the United States. You know, in this journey, like, nobody does it alone, right? And so that was kind of like my way for my family to feel um, a part of this journey. I actually started my career here in Mexico City uh, playing with the national team in pre-Olympics. I had pretty much accomplished pretty much everything in Mexico. Like I had won two championships, a MVP, a slam dunk contest back to back, all-star game MVP, and like I wanted more. So I went for a tryout uh, in the G League and it ended up working out. Steph steals it. Steph with the steal. He's got to beat Malachi Flynn. To Scott Anderson, it's got to be. Oh, I like this. He's got to be the sentimental favorite here. The guy was undrafted. True. Played at Argentina and Venezuela and Mexico on the G League in Santa Cruz. What? Oh, look Scott at this. Anderson. Oh, I'm liking this. It's over. The Golden State Warriors return to a familiar place. They're on top of the NBA world. I used to like calculate how many years it would take for me to make X amount of dollars. Like if I played overseas for X amount of years, and then I was like, I got to the NBA, and it's like, wow, in one year. I made the amount of money that I was like planning on, like, you know, financially planning on making 10 to 15 years down the line. The situation just presented itself for me to have the opportunity. And I think that's what this business is all about is, you know, situations, opportunities, timing. It's actually kind of crazy in full circle, like Ramon was actually uh, on the coaching staff um, when I came to the national team in 2015. La verdad que mi historia con Juan es muy bonita, ¿no? Porque, como te he dicho, llegué en 2013 a México con la selección nacional. En 2015, Juan se incorpora a la selección y vivimos un campeonato muy especial y muy bonito para México, que fue el preolímpico para clasificar a las Olimpiadas de 2016. Se celebró aquí en Ciudad de México Eh, fue un boom porque más de 20.000 personas todos los días en la arena. Se generó un ambiente increíble alrededor de la selección y eso hizo que el grupo estuviera muy unido. ¿no? Seguía sin saber que el camino no iba a volver a juntar otra vez. Cuando hablamos con él hace como tres meses y surge la posibilidad de que él pueda venir a Capitanes, la verdad. Para mí era muy importante, no solo por lo que él va a generar para Capitanes de más fama, más marca, va, va a ayudar mucho él a Capitanes a crecer, sino para mí era bonito poder volver a entrenarlo, tener a un jugador con la experiencia de haber sido campeón de la NBA, que todo lo que el conocimiento que él tiene no lo pueda trasladar y trasladar. Nosotros era muy, muy importante. Now, I could have went to Europe, um, you know, and got way more money, had, you know, quote unquote, better opportunities, but I thought this was the best opportunity for me. Uh, there's so many moving parts to why I chose this. You know, it's the G League, so I can stay close to the NBA. Um, I do feel like I'm an NBA talent and I can play at that level. Um, two, it's Mexico, so like this is the perfect situation for me in regards to like off court opportunities. And then three, like, I understand the business and I understand the market's growing and the NBA wants to grow and expand. I mean, they have to. Mexico, it definitely has the market and the support for that. And you know, as kids, and I always talk to like young black men and minorities, like we all, we only dream of like playing for the team. You know, and that's cool. Like we only dream of making it to the MLB or the NBA or NFL, but like, you know, growing up, we never talk about like, oh, I want to be an owner or I want to be a commissioner. And I feel like, you know, here, based on what I have going for myself already and then what I will continue to build, like, that'll be part of my legacy. People will, you know, know me forever and remember my name forever. So, like, how cool would that be if I could help bring a team here?
So that's definitely the goal of the Cap Tennis. That's one of our goals to be an NBA team. And I think if we just keep looking like an NBA team, I think if our arena keeps um, getting more and more fans, if the TV viewership gets higher and higher, I think it'd be a no-brainer to be an NBA team. So I think this year is going to be big for us.